Morning, beautiful people. My name is Rosie McDermott. I thought I would start this week's podcast um, that is more industry related. And I know a lot of my colleagues and friends and and even clients are going to agree with some of this um, information that I wanted to share with you. And this is maybe a message going out to a lot of those corporate and production houses out there regarding um, the exposure that we are often often given as an option when when hired for certain events. So let's just be blunt about it. Artists are workers. We have a talent. We have a craft. Therefore, with that craft, we offer a specific service. So when you need somebody to MC your event, that is a service that can only be provided that by somebody that has the craft to do so. So offering the exposure um, option um, is no longer viable for a number of reasons. Um, number one, it doesn't pay bills. Number two, you would never offer exposure to any other skilled artisan, whether it being a plumber, whether it being um, a restaurateur or um, anybody from, or even a lawyer, or anyone there that, that, that offers a specific service. And often I get these, these different requests for myself or for my artists under my, under my agency, Waka Talent Management. Um, so I always, people always say, well, it will be good exposure, number one. Number two, the other option is, well, it will be good for your profile. Um, my question to those people who always think that, that, it, that it's an option to offer that is that, do you follow the trends on my profile? Do you know where the highs and lows are, what the analytics are reading from this week to last week, um, where my, my viewership is following, where I don't have any viewership or any following? So unless you have that um, concrete in, in information, which I doubt because I haven't mandated you to actually follow my profile, then please don't offer that as an option. The third other aspect which a lot of corporates try is um, the CSI or shall we say the giving back option. And I'm one person that believes 100% in giving back where you can. And I get involved in a lot of different CSI option uh, projects, whether it's sitting on boards, whether it's volunteer, whether it's my work as an activist on the social media space or on the ground, or whatever it is. But those are my choices to make. So... As a corporate company, when you come forward and say, well, you have this event and so forth, and it's under your CSI, that's very well. But remember, that's your CSI. You need to do these type of projects in order to increase your BEE rating. So if you need somebody to provide a service to promote that CSI, you will have to pay for that service. Um, am I making sense here? So... In conclusion, um, a special request to corporates, to, to networks. Um, a few weeks ago, I, I got a very interesting mail from a well-known production house who have offices across the continent who have been mandated by SABC. In fact, they were, they were commissioned by SABC. Therefore, it's a project that money was given and they were going to make a profit from it. And the request came through for me to get involved in the project. It would be a full day shoot where I would have to enact a scene. I would also have to write a script because part of the scene, um, I have to get research from my own personal experience um, and personal experience in terms of being brought up in a white Jewish home, which they needed to then integrate into their storyline. Um, and then needed for a full day shoot. And when I gave my global rate um, for acting, for my parents, and for writing the script, and of course for using my personal story, I was then told, no, they thought I would do it for no charge. Um, of course, that infuriated me, and I, and I contacted various people at SABC and found out that they actually do have a budget for, 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 for these projects. And not only do they have a budget, but they also have specific amount of money which was supposed to be allocated to talent anyway. So where is that money going? So in a nutshell, this podcast is to you people who believe that, well, 
artisans shouldn't really get paid and that we should be grateful for the exposure or we need your help to, 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 to work on our profile. I humbly request that you see us and respect us as artisans, understand that not everyone can do these specific jobs. Not everybody can sing. Not everybody can speak to a live audience. Not everyone can MC. Not everybody can act. Not everyone can present. Um, these are specific skills that, that, that God has given to, to certain individuals, and that needs to be respected. Um, and, and knowing that without, without having these skills attached to a certain event or a certain project, the project might not be that successful as, as, as one hoped. So let's um, clean the slate, understand where we're coming from, uh, respect us, respect our rates, respect that we're individuals who also pay bills, have families to look after. Um, even if we don't have children, um, it's still a job at the end of the day. If you need any other information regarding what rates are in terms of actors, TV presenters, so forth, there are a number of organizations that you can contact. There's the South African Guild of Actors. If you go to their website, there's a whole list of, of what rate cards should be. Uh, you can call the Performance Management Association, um, different various agents and so forth. But more, well, most importantly is that when entering into a new project or contract and you require an artist or somebody to add value to your project, remember you need to add value to them as well. Thank you very much. Please leave your comments on, on the stream, on my Facebook page, LinkedIn page. Um, I'm, also on, I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and, uh, and Facebook pages and group. And it's all under Rosie Mutena. Otherwise, pop me an email. That's www.rosiemutena.biz. And that's R-O-S-I-E-M-O-T-E-N-E dot B-I-Z. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful day.